When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Ellen wrote to us, said, hey, Ben and Kelly, need everybody's help. First, I need help in figuring out if my feelings are justified and then what to do about it, if anything. Okay. To put it bluntly, my brother lost his wife. And now he's married to my former best friend. Ooh. They got married 10 months after he buried my late sister-in-law. Mm. I'm trying to wrap my brain around all of this, and I just can't help being furious that I think my former best friend totally swooped in and groomed my brother into marrying her because he's well off. Uh. He insists it's true love. But my nieces are struggling because they miss their mom. Sure. It's hard to see dad with another woman so quickly. Mm. They're trying to support him, but I know it's been rough. I'm not saying he should be alone forever, but I'm shocked it all happened so fast. I completely stopped talking to my former best friend Mm -hmm. slash new sister-in-law because I just can't deal. Now my brother isn't talking to me because of how I'm treating her. So am I right with how I feel? Or should I just support them and stay out of it? Well, we can't tell you how to feel, but yes, I do feel like you are going to need to figure it out because they're married and that's not going to be a thing that just ends tomorrow. Yeah. And I understand, man, that's got to be so difficult, you know, watching Mm -hmm. your, you know, the nieces struggling and then, you know, dad is kind of moved on and I get it. Like, I absolutely understand where the feelings are coming from. Yeah. But yeah. I think, like you said, this is now she's part of the family and that right. is something that you're going to have to deal with. And I think it's going to be easier for everybody involved if you just try to swallow your feelings when you have to be around them and do your best to be kind and You know, hopefully over time, your heart will heal and you'll be able to see them in a different light. Yeah, I think time is going to help in this case where you are still probably having feelings about losing a sister-in-law. And, uh, you know, it, it, it sounds like it's, you know, it's still fairly fresh for you at least. And you don't want to see, I don't know, I think it's, it's. You're projecting a little bit onto maybe the the nieces and nephews. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think you're going to have to get over it at some point. But that sounds a little callous to say. But I think that that is going to be what is men's fences. Is yeah, it's is really you tough. figuring it out. You don't want to. You know, the biggest thing is not to erode your relationship with your brother. Mm-hmm. You know, and regardless of your your former best friend. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, you know, she was your best friend at one point and now that she's your sister, maybe once time enough time has passed then maybe you can find your way back into that friendship as well. All right, if you've got experience with I don't know, a fr- a friend marrying a sibling and This is delicate though because of the timing. It, it is it is weird timing, but yeah, I we would love to hear your take on it because I think Maybe your experience could help here or whether or not you just have an opinion. That'd be great. We'll take some of your calls. 502-795-1997. Your calls and more with group therapy coming up next on 9970JX. Oh, wow. We've got a little situation here. Ellen needs help figuring out if her feelings are justified and then what to do about them. Brother lost his wife, got married 10 months after he buried her to her former best friend. Now, she thinks her friend was only marrying him because he's well off and not for love. Thinks it's a little bit of a gold digger situation. Yeah, a little gold digger situation, if you will. Uh, Louis chimes in on Facebook, says, hey, quit making this about you and support your brother. He's had enough going on without your drama. Oof. That's a good point. And that's, yeah, that's a little tough love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and look, it kind of goes back to what we were saying, where I think really... To to quote a modern-day poet, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. (laughs) Did you literally just quote Taylor Swift to her? Really? (laughs) 
Is that what we're doing here? I'm thinking that that's probably the case. Are we like, go listen to Taylor Swift music. It'll help you figure it out. I'm I'm saying that she is the one who has the problem. Obviously Mm -hmm. not her brother and not her former best friend. Sure. Okay. So V says everyone manages loss and stages of grief in different ways. Some are better off moving forward than grieving alone. You, your nieces, and your brother are still grieving, but life is too short to focus on what was and find peace in what is in the present. If it turns out the friend is just a gold digger, that will reveal itself in yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, Elizabeth uh, chimes in and says, look, they'll probably get divorced because he rebounded, but it's not really your business. So just support your brother whether or not you support his decisions. Yeah, this is what he needs right now. Mm-hmm. And whether and hopefully it's going to turn out to be the real deal and long term. But and, if it's not, then then you love him through it. And look, I, maybe it's not far fetched. You said it's a, it was a, such a quick turnaround, but he was your best. I mean, she was your best friend. He knew about her, I'm sure. Yep. Be, through you, so it's not like like she just introduced her to him, and then ten months later they're getting married. It's that that relationship, you know, maybe they have been friends from afar for a long time. Well, and a couple of people had pointed out, like, maybe your brother's marriage with his late wife wasn't as good as you thought it was. As rock solid or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which might make his heart ready to move on faster than what you think it should be. Jessica says coming from a widow, the best you can do is support him. But if he hasn't allowed himself to fully grieve and work through his emotions, the relationship will never last. It also depends on the circumstances of the death. Mm. Was she terminally ill for a while? Mm. When, you know, this is the case, the grieving process begins before death and he can be ahead of the game. But coming from just my experience, I did make the mistake of not allowing myself the opportunity to heal, even though I thought I was and ended up married and now divorced. You know, Lisa has a good point of view. She texts in and says, look, as the aunt... You have young minds looking to someone to guide them through this. Yes. Meaning your nieces and nephews or whatever. Show them uh, what it's like to be civil and move forward even when the situation is not ideal. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yes, I, you know, at the bot, at the end of the day, you need to support your brother and his decisions. He's your family. Your former best friend is now in your family. Yep. And yeah, be, be a great example for those nieces to work through it and just be supportive no matter what. Even if this ends up blowing up and it doesn't work out and she married him for the wrong reasons, your job as a sister is to just be there to pick up the pieces no matter what. Yeah, you want to. You feel like you want to save him from making a mistake, but you can't. You just have to be there to be supportive no matter what his situation is. And don't say, I told you so. Oh, no, 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 no. If, no, if it no. does go down that path, don't, yeah. don't just be supportive, really. All right. Yep. So I, I think that's... That's kind of what we're landed on here. And, you know, good luck, Ellen. Hopefully you can find it in yourself to kind of be that bigger person and and show your nieces and nephews, you know, some maturity and everything and move forward. That is group therapy.